Thanks for staying with us. Last week, we introduced you to Jonathan Springer, a U.S. Army veteran. We left off with Jonathan becoming a field artillery officer with the 101st Airborne and preparing for his next deployments. Here's part two of his story. Jonathan Springer was a sergeant in the U.S. Army at the time. He was headed to his second deployment to the Middle East after helping clean up the mess in Abu Ghraib. He would spend two more tours overseas one in Iraq and the other in Afghanistan. During his third deployment, he was located in the dangerous Pesh River Valley. It was a very kinetic area. We lost a lot of guys. I lost some guys. Um, and it was just, uh, you're out there every day fighting. I mean, really fighting. And so, and, um, you know, uh, you just, we lost a lot of guys. And so it's tough. One of the most intense battles he was a part of was a 15-hour firefight between his company and a group of terrorists. You remember it because of the guys that you, you were fighting alongside. Those experiences and those he lost still weigh on him today. It's something he's seeking professional help to cope with. If you experience like real combat, ground, you know, ground combat um, for any given time, it doesn't matter if it's just one mission or you know, multiple missions over multiple years, you're going to come back and you know, it's going to affect you some way. While deployed to Afghanistan, Jonathan recalls having to have a physical map to call out coordinates to fire the artillery. I had a fat finger on a map, um, the grid to call in. These experiences helped Springer develop the tactical nav app while he was deployed. The app helps military personnel to determine the distance of a target using a map and grid overlay and input from soldiers on the ground. I knew it worked when I had a beta version and we took uh, two rounds of mortars. Uh, one guy got, uh, was wounded, and I didn't have my compass on me at the time because I was a fire support officer, but I had my app. And so I zeroed in on the location of these, you know, you know, the, the location of the mortar tube where I saw the smoke and uh, called in, uh, I think, a battery four, and we killed two guys. But the app isn't just for the military. Tactical nav was even used in Paradise, California, to help fight fires and rescue families. Springer says part of his success goes all the way back to when he was in a different uniform. Coach Donnelly, you know, uh, really kind of took us under, uh, took us under his wing, uh, groomed us into, you know, outstanding men, football players, and that translates very well to, uh, you know, the Army um, as a young guy on a team. For Hometown Heroes, I'm Caleb Saylor.